G'day and welcome back to Fun with Canva. In tonight's tutorial, we are going to look at the glass effect. So you can see here, I've done a few glass effects and whatnot. And I like this one the most, so we'll focus on this one in the tutorial tonight. So what we need to do is we need to come and find the image. So it's the lightning coming from the sky. We'll click on that and that'll appear in the canvas. So we're just gonna drag that and line it up with the canvas. The next thing we need to do is go over to frames. So I'll just go over to frames, select all, and scroll down to letters. And this is where you'll find the letter frames. So we'll simply just click on the word storm, like so, and we will line those up like so Like so. Now I just like to check to make sure that all the letters line up at the top. Yep, using the ruler and at the bottom. Yep, okay. So we'll select all of these letters and we'll just reduce their size and drag them over to the middle, like so. Then what we want to do is click on the background, duplicate the background. We want to go to edit. So we want to look at blur. We want to blur the whole image to about 30, like so. Then we'll go back, we'll go to adjust, and we want to increase the brightness 20. Now that we've got that, what we're going to do is duplicate into each letter. Duplicate that duplicate that that one and drag that in now what we want to do is select all the letters come over to the border weight or border style click on the on the line and we'll drop that to three we want to come over to the border color select the border color increase to white actually let's just double check that select the border color go to gradient sorry select the black color change that to white and then reduce to 60 percent click on the gray and reduce that to 60 percent Okay, now that we've done that, we want to click off and click into each letter. And we're going to line all those images in the letter up with the main background image. Okay, and just make sure that everything is lined up like so and do that for the next lot of letters
All right, now that we've got all that lined up, what we then do is click on the background and go to edit and then go to adjust and we want to drop the brightness down to a minus 20. So there you can see now that is the final image. We've got a glass looking effect on each letter and then a darker background. Well, I hope you learned something. I enjoyed it. Uh, feel free, please, to jump over to the YouTube channel, um, subscribe, notify, like, and share. And until next time, have fun with Canva, and bye for now.